is from Armenia, and I hope the sound works now, otherwise we'll move on very quickly. I just wanted to thank a few people and see where they come from okay. all around the world in their days, and okay. see what they get up to. So, who are you? So, I'm So that's where the Armenia is. Does anyone know where Armenia is? Georgia. Georgia. That yeah. kind of near near Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. So it's near between Turkey. Or, uh, kind of just there. Yeah. Okay. So Lev came to Drupal Dev Days. That's quite a big journey because Drupal Dev Days was in Lisbon, in Portugal, that year. It moves around every year. Uh, it's in Romania this year, in June. Okay. Uh, and I'm planning on going on my bike. <laughs> um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, the next one is Syed, is from Morocco. And hopefully this is nice and short, and the audio is okay. I'm sorry. Uh, my name is uh, I have worked for six years. Um, uh, as I told you, I asked the Drupal developers. Um, uh, in uh, in Morocco, it's actually in Casablanca for two, two companies. Okay. Um, before I moved to Drupal this year, um, I was born in uh, Mamadia. And I live some years in the world. Um, it's located in, uh, in the south of Morocco. Okay. Uh, it is a very beautiful place. After we moved to Casablanca for studies. Casablanca is a um, very special place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Casablanca, the economic capital in Morocco. The capital, uh, capital economy in Morocco, the capital is Rabat. Yes, I've been to Rabat. Casablanca yeah. yeah. is a big city and the one of the largest and the most important cities in Africa. Yeah. Um, uh, about economical and uh, demographical. Casablanca is uh, small, it's small, but it's, if I can do this. <laughs> 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 it's okay, you can do the job. <laughs> and uh, the difference between Paris and Casablanca 
uh, we have the best weather in the world, guys. Um, in Morocco, we have uh, many global developers. Um, we have an association called Joba Morocco. Yeah. Yeah. We organize three meetups uh, in Casablanca. So then we are a lot of people. We were forced to limit um, uh, to limit the, the number of places in the three meetup. In Morocco, we have, uh, I think Morocco is the best place. Um, you should visit Morocco for many reasons. Um, help us to, to promote uh, to promote, uh, to promote the global. Okay, so just to explain, Saeed, his first language is not English. Uh, his, first, his, his second language is not even English, um, and he, he, he really wants to talk about the things that were happening in Morocco, because it's important. Uh, he's managed to, with other people there, set up a local Drupal association, and they are organising camps like this one, oh, where's he gone? Um, and, and so on. It's a really interesting kind of thing that they've, they've got going on. So, because, because his English was not good, he'd actually written out everything that he wanted to say. It was actually, I was holding it up for him <laughs> because we practiced it. So it was really cool. So it was really, really amazing that he could uh, get that. So I really wanted to show that to as many people as possible. Uh, that they're doing great work. They're, they're far away from the Drupal Association and from some of the people in Drupal. But we do care and we do want to make sure that those places, uh, everybody gets to hear about them and we support them. It really, really matters. Now, we have contribution from many countries. We have lots of people give, giving their time to make Drupal better. <laughs> you recognize this now. So, and India is one of the biggest contributors of all, actually. Uh, in fact, in code contribution, which is what this graph actually measures, just code, fifth is Germany. I'm not saying anything, you know. <laughs> Fourth is Canada. Third is the United Kingdom. But a few of those are mine. <laughs> Second is India. Seriously, well done. The number of contributions that you're making to Drupal 8, and I think that is Drupal 8 core, to be honest, um, it's huge. Yeah? I mean, yeah, the uh, United States is first. But do you know what? You're not far behind them. You're really not. So, when I was looking at where to go, that's why I'm here. It's because you make a commitment to the project, therefore the project should be making a commitment to you. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> that's really, really important. Now, My microphone is starting to uh, go funny. Um, code isn't everything. And actually, this is a really, really important point. Who, who, do we have any of the kind of Srijan, etc., business owner type people here and stuff like that? The people who are actually kind of making these things happen. This is important. This next bit is important. It's great to contribute code. And I know we've got a lot of developers here and front-end people and all that type of stuff. And it's great that you're doing that. But there are so many other things we need as well. And there are so many other things taking place that have influence on how the Drupal project runs. So we collaborate on promotional materials. And I know Rebecca, my boss at the DA, has been working with a number of people to produce recently a thing called the Drupal Brand Book. 
which you can find on the slash community slash agency materials. Uh, and it shows a consistent way of using and talking about Drupal, the type of language to use, the type of where, how to use the logos, so that everybody who's going out and talking about Drupal does it in the same way. Now, when everybody does something in the same way and you hear the same messages over and over again as a customer, who's a marketeer here? Who's a marketeer? What's good about hearing the same messages from multiple places over and over and over again? What does it do? If you hear the same messages over and over again from lots of different places, it makes you believe them. Okay? Also depends on if it's a good message or a bad message. <laughs> it, it can be both, yeah, it does work the same way. If you hear the same thing, so if we can talk the same way about Drupal across across all the different places, it means we set we make belief in people about stuff. And that's how we sell. Yeah? So things like the brand book, the pitch deck that you saw earlier, they matter. Get involved in them. Yeah? We volunteer. There are people that volunteer in lots of different things. So uh, we have a security team, which I'm sure that you're all very thankful for right now because they managed to get out a release recently, which is quite important. Yeah? They did get it out at 2 o'clock in the morning here, I know, but that's another matter. Okay? But they're important. They're actually volunteers, either by their personal time or their employer volunteers their time. Yeah? Now, you say, you know, things are happening at funny times here. <laughs> what if more of the volunteers, or the volunteered time for the security team, was volunteered with people here? Do you think that would have an effect upon the times of releases? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah? Okay, give it some thought. All right, mentoring at events. So I, I, I work as part of the core mentoring team because uh, that's kind of where I came from into this. So uh, setting up the core mentoring uh, days and sessions at uh, Drupal Car and stuff like that. That's all kind of good fun. Mentoring at events and helping other people get into and improve their Drupal is great, because it puts you on some sort of, people look up to you, and I'm not saying that's necessarily a thing in itself, but if more of the people that are looked up to come from here, that helps focus of the whole community look here, all right? Governance reviews, running events, these all matter because they give attention to you. And that helps strengthen that focus of the whole community on India. And that's what we want. That's what I want. Okay? We also sponsor events. Now, I took this as a screenshot off the website, so if this is if this is been updated since then, I apologize to any company who's missing, okay? But it really matters. The fact that uh, the companies on this list have sponsored this event and sponsored other events really matters because you make it happen. You create um, interest in the product, you create interest in the community, and you create news. So the fact that I'm here this week means that the people at the Drupal Association all want to know about the people in Goa. And the sponsors make that happen. Yeah? And the volunteers and the people set it up, obviously. <laughs> yeah? So it's really, really important that you volunteer events, that sponsor events. Okay. We even sponsor people. Tanisha is brilliant. Okay? She's been doing amazing work at the Drupal Association. And but her position is sponsored. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, thank I, you. you. By then? I hired her. 
brilliant. Yeah, she gave me as an intern. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, she's fab. Yeah, you, yeah, you can. She's doing so much great work, and she just draws things for us all. It's great. <laughs> so it, it's fantastic. Now, there's also, un until recently, we had uh, Dania in engineering as well, uh, who was once sponsored by Zixware. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Mm -hmm. um, now, of the actual individual sponsored positions, roles at the Drupal Association, there are two. Okay? And actually, one of, them, one of them's just left because she's moved on to a different role, but that's beside the point. So, the only person who is sponsored specifically at the DA is sponsored by an Indian company. Yeah. Alright? Thank you. And I want to make a big deal out of that because it is a big deal. Okay. And we learn, we learn from each other. Yeah? So, coming and, and, and spending time in different places, and I know, I know, I see magic at different events all around the world. Uh, are you ever at home? <laughs> uh, so, so, but going out, that, that gives that message of what's going on here. Yeah, you, need, you go to meetings, you meet ups, and you're training, and people know how you work. Yeah, it matters. On the forums, uh, and groups, and instant messaging, and instant messaging I usually mean Slack these days. Uh, not that many people are using IRC these days. Okay? So, all those things. The more visible you are helping others, the more visible the community here is. And it means that you, more people take attention to what you've got to say. And as I mentioned, um, contribution mentoring, etc. Okay, I kind of put this in, and I have mentioned a couple of things already, and I get the feeling that, and I wanted to ask this question, are we always equal as members of the community all across the world? And the fact that I'm even having to ask the question means that there must be something that's a problem there, and we don't feel that way. Now. It really bothers me when there are parts of the community that kind of forget that anyone outside of their country exists. And that's why I'm here. That's actually really important to me. The fact that we have meeting calendars and meetings happen at the convenience of certain time zones over others bothers me, okay? And it can make people feel underrepresented, yeah? And actually, some groups that are underrepresented, I failed on. I failed when I was taking those videos. I took, I took seven or eight videos, I just showed, showed two today. I failed because, and I didn't realize it at the time, all of the videos that I filmed we're of guys. I filmed no women. Uh, and I was stupid. And I didn't realise at the time. And I want to film some more people to, over this weekend, if possible. And I'm sorry, but it's going to mainly be the women. Because I need, I need to repair the, the mistake that I made. Okay? So, please come and see me afterwards. I need some people to video and talk about what you do. Alright? It happens all the time. So what can we do about it? Well, for a start, the Drupal Association employed me. Yeah? They employed a European, not an American. Yeah? They employed someone who lives in Europe. I live in a different time zone to most of the people at the DA. Very different. It means that I think I end up having meetings at some very odd times. <laughs> Uh, Tanisha has it even worse. I mean, she, we have a daily stand-up where everybody in the US is kind of just waking up. I'm in the middle of my afternoon, 
And Tanisha, it's like 9.30 at night, and we're all on the call together. It's quite good fun. <laughs> okay, so uh, 